good morning, guys. It's uh, 1.23 a.m. And I'm getting up and going duck hunting. We're up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed this morning. Got the Carolina skiff behind me. About to get out there and go kill some ducks. But we got to make the ferry first. It takes off at 3, and it's about 2 o'clock right now. So we, we, we should be fine, but we got to get there. Ready, big boy? So we had a little bit of trailer problems earlier when we were turning out of the neighborhood. The the hitch, or the trailer jumped off the hitch, so we had to fix that. So that kind of put us a little bit behind schedule. And now we got uh, Hunter over here. He is helping some people whose battery died. We're giving them a jump right now, so hopefully we get a better spot on the ferry for, for when we do finally board. Oh, sweet music in my ears. It started. So we're going to go. All right, Hunter just schooled me. What did you say? <laughs> All right. Always have a jumper box with you, no matter what. Number one, that's crucial because we just got first spot on the ferry that we thought we had missed. Look at that line, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. I cannot believe that just happened. So we're gonna, we're probably gonna be the first people out of here. Feels pretty good. All right, so we walked out. It took us about an hour to get out here. I know you can't see me at all because it's too dark and. If I turned on the lights, I'd be getting absolutely murdered by mosquitoes. It is about six o'clock um, and we set up our decoy spread. We got a J spread going with a nice big hole in front of me and Hunter. Uh, I'll, get, I'll get some footage of that when it's light enough outside. Um, but we're expecting big things. Had them in too tight and they were too close together. We moved them out, we spread them out, we kind of changed it to more of a, a V shape versus a J shape. And they uh, were finally starting to get some ducks to decoy, so expecting big things. Uh, they just started 
Yeah, we saw four killed nine. Twelve. Eleven. Twelve. Because we killed three that got away. Uh, but those don't count, obviously. We still got three more to hit on the So we had a good day. We got a limit and a half to spend some quality time with my bro and uh, got to watch him clean his boat. Yeah. So we're done with the duck hunt. We shot a limit and a half. Uh, we sh well, we shot 12 or 13. We found nine of them. So, um, I mean, I guess, I guess we technically did not shoot two limits but we shot a limit and a half which is pretty good um considering it was 75 degrees and at the start of the day there was less than five mile an hour winds by the end of the day it was like probably 65 degrees and probably about 25 mile an hour winds and, and things really picked up and we changed we made a lot of changes to our decoys and we just kind of treated this whole thing we we went to a new spot that my buddy told us about um and we really used this trip as a learning experience trying to figure out what what to, what kind of things to change and and how to get birds to decoy that were not previously decoying uh at, at first you know we weren't we weren't getting anything we, we couldn't get anything to uh to fly in on our decoys and by the end of it we made a couple of changes um to the shape and just the overall the density of the decoy spread um and we ended up finding out finding something that works and that's really cool to me i, I feel i thought that was a it's a really awesome learning experience um but yeah i think i'm gonna be going hunting two more times next two times next week at least maybe three so you're gonna expect be expecting uh footage from three hunts i just wanted to say thanks for watching i always stand up for what you believe in and i'll see you next time